Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another study with me video isn't that exciting. As usual, I'll be taking you through a day off work where I'm studying for a medical exam called the MRCP and I'll be sharing my study techniques along the way for whatever it's worth. I actually set my alarm for 7am that morning because I wanted to seem like a motivational and productive member of society, but I turned it off and went back to bed until half past nine. I then got up and spent an hour having a shower, replying to some emails in the toilet and then cleaning the house because obviously the house needs to be clean before I can start doing any work. From 10 45 I decide to start studying and because I've already made a list of all the subjects for my exam I decide to tackle my weakest one and that's neurology. So having decided that step one is to scope the subject i.e find out what all the various topics are within the subject and categorize them into sensible categories using a mind map. That way I've got the big picture view in my mind a skeleton as it were of the content so that when I come across new bits I know exactly where they slot into the big picture. I make this mind map partly from a set of notes I found on the internet and partly from a presentation that one of our seniors in college gave us big shout out to Martha for the amazing teaching session. At this point it's 11.30 and I've got a solid overview of all of neurology and so I take a quick break and spend half an hour chatting to my grandma in Pakistan thereby signaling what a wonderful grandson I am. From noon onwards I bash through questions on Pass Medicine, an online question bank that everyone uses for medical exams in the UK. I select just the neurology questions because that's what I'm doing today and as I'm going through them I'm turning everything I get wrong or everything that's new to me into a flashcard on Anki. I'm going to explain this in a bit more detail because this is basically my whole strategy for past paper questions. In the world of productivity, there's an idea called quick capture. For example, if you're building an effective to-do list or note-taking system, you want to be able to capture any idea you have quickly and efficiently into whatever app or notebook you're using. For example, lots of to-do list apps have keyboard shortcuts that you can use to quick capture an idea as it comes to you or to send stuff from other apps to your to-do list. The point is that this should be so quick and easy to do that you might as well get stuff out of your brain and into your system. So I've taken this idea and I've applied it to revision. In the past, I used to just bash through questions and read through explanations for questions I'd done wrong. But as you might know, if you've watched my evidence-based study tips videos, the two most important components of effective studying are number one, active recall and number two, spaced repetition. Flashcard software like Anki and Quizlet has both of these concepts built into it. But a big reason why people don't like using flashcards is because it takes absolutely ages to make your own flashcards. Yeah, you could just download a deck from the internet, but those tend to be less effective and a lot less customized than making your own. And in my opinion, the best of both worlds is to make your own flashcards, but to make the process of making them super, super quick. So my technique for going through online question banks is to use split screen to answer the questions on one side. And then if I get something wrong or find some new information in the explanations, I'll copy and paste it straight into Anki and turn it into a big flashcard. I'll then review those flashcards fairly regularly so that over time, anything that was new to me on the question bank gets uploaded to my brain. I'll talk about this in more detail in a bit, but first, at around 1pm, I decide to take a break and practice some Japanese on Rosetta Stone, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. I've been using Rosetta Stone for almost a year now, and I love how it makes language learning into a game. And rather than teaching you the grammar and stuff in a dry way, it integrates those into the scenarios so you can figure out sentence structures and vocabulary along the way. It's also got really cool voice recognition that checks your pronunciation of words and phrases so you can try and sound a bit more like a native speaker. And since starting using Rosetta Stone, I found myself using my new Japanese skills in day-to-day -day life. For example, just before playing squash, I might say to my opponent, Omae wa mou shunderu. Or if I'm trying to interpret a CT scan at work, I might drop a cheeky mangi kyo sharingan. Anyway, if you fancy learning a language, you should definitely check out Rosetta Stone and you can use my code in the video description below to get 50% off any subscription plan. Especially if you're going away somewhere interesting over the summer, it might be quite a fun use of your time to try and learn the language before you get there. Anyway, with that said, let's get back to studying. For the next couple of hours, I continue to bash through online questions and quick capture every piece of new information into Anki. If I come across anything that's completely new, I Google it and try my best to understand it before I shove it into Anki for memorization. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm using Anki rather than Quizlet, it's because while Quizlet has a prettier design, inputting stuff into Anki is a lot faster than inputting it into Quizlet. And because this method relies on quick capture to generate flashcards efficiently, I value speed of input far more than prettiness of design. At around 3pm I decide I'm going to be a complete waste man for a few hours, and so I watch some YouTube videos including Neil Gaiman's commencement speech video, which is pretty solid. Uh, I do some singing and research some recipes for overnight oats, which inspires me to take a trip to Waitrose and buy some ingredients because I'm a classy guy. When I get home it's about 5pm and I spend the next half an hour editing a video, which gives me a burst of energy that I 
I can use to sustain myself while studying until dinner time. At 5.30, I spend some time converting the sketched out neurology syllabus I made in the morning into an organized set of toggle lists on Notion, my new favorite note-taking app. This further reinforces the skeleton of the subject in my head. It also means that when I come across something that's particularly new or tricky, I can copy and paste it into Notion at the same time as making a flashcard. This means that over time, I build up a bank of copy-pasted notes for anything I've found difficult, so that if I'm doing a speed revision session, I can blitz through each subject and try my best to actively recall the contents of each topic. By the way, in case anyone's wondering why I copy and paste notes rather than writing them myself, it's because I consider writing my own notes to be a complete waste of time, especially in a subject like medicine, where others have already done the work for me. There is absolutely no point reinventing the wheel, and the evidence from hundreds of studies has shown that summarizing content is a very inefficient study technique and absolutely sucks in comparison to things like active recall and spaced repetition. I talk about this a lot more in my evidence-based study tips video series, which will be linked down below. From 6.15 onwards, I review some more questions on past medicine and quick capture everything into Anki and Notion. I decide I want a change of scenery, so I lounge on the sofa. And something I forgot to mention earlier is that while doing all of this studying, I've got my Study With Me public playlist on Spotify playing through my Amazon Echo speakers, sadly not sponsored, and so I'm hearing banger instrumentals from films, TV shows and games to keep myself entertained as I study. Again, I'll put a link to the playlist in the video description if you want to check it out. At 7pm, my friend Jake rocks up to the house and we decide to bash through some of the Anki questions together because he's also taking the MRCP. We used to do this back when we were in medical school together with our other friends, so it's a nice throwback activity and adds some variety to the otherwise fairly monotonous day. From 8pm, I decide to change things up a bit and do some hematology for half an hour, and then at 8.30 I decide I've had enough of studying for one day, and so I watch some YouTube videos until some friends arrive for Game of Thrones night, with takeaway from GBK to see us through the episode. And so ends this study with me video. I hope you found it at least partly useful and I'll definitely make a video talking more about the quick capture anti-anki technique in a lot more detail. If you've got any other questions, please do leave them in a comment below and I'll do my best to reply to everyone. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider doing so. Thank you for watching. A cheeky arigato gozaimasu to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring the video and I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara.